Well, hey there, folks. How are you doing? Thank you so much for coming over just to check out this very simple recipe. And as you can see from the length of the video, it's an easy one. I do hope that I find you very well and you are having a good day so far, wherever in the world you are. So I find this wee recipe and it's meant to be a dupe of the KFC potato wedges. Now, disclaimer, I've never actually had KFC wedges, but let me tell you, these are absolutely delicious. There's a very, very thin coating of batter on the outside and it just makes them wonderful and crunchy. So this is everything that I used here but all of the weights and measurements will be in the description box underneath but I'll pop them on the screen as we go. So there are three of us for tea tonight so I'm going to make three big tatties but obviously there's more of you. You can cut up another tatty, it's up to you. So I'm just going to cut up three potatoes into eight pieces. So cut them in half, cut them in half again and then cut them in half again until you've got eight wedges now you you know you don't want them too thick you do want them to cook but you don't want them too thin either because we are making wedges at the end of the day and not chips so something like this is ideal so i'm just going to go and quickly chop the rest of my tatties now the recipe that i saw they actually suggest that you wash your potatoes well and then leave them sitting in salted water for 12 hours and i actually tested this and it doesn't make any difference to the end result so i would say just skip this you know just give them a good wash a good rinse to get all of that starch off and you're good to go i don't feel as though the 12 hour soak is necessary at all so just give them a good wash to get the starch off and then go over to your pan so you want to bring your potato wedges up to a boil so pop your tatties into the pan along with some cold water just enough water to cover them get these up to the simmer and do use cold water not warm water because you don't want the outside to be mushy and falling apart pop in some salt and you want to boil these for about three to four minutes just until they start to go translucent in the middle there and the edge as you can see because you do want to pick these up so don't cook them for too long or they will just fall apart so while you're waiting those cooling down get your spices together so i've got 11 herbs and spices here just like the recipe suggests so some sage some salt and then some oregano garlic granules black pepper paprika, cayenne pepper, ground cumin, turmeric, that's just for a wee bit of colour, ground onion granules or onion granules. <laughs> And then I had whole cloves, but you want to grind a few of these down until you've got a quarter teaspoon or if you've got ground clove already, perfect. Mix these all together and you just want to grab your flour. This is plain all-purpose flour. Pop your spice blend on top of that. And you just want to give these a wee whisk together just to make sure they're nicely distributed in your flour. Just take a few seconds. Now to this, we're going to add some water. You want to add enough water so you've got a nice sort of thickish pancake batter consistency. You don't want this too thick because when you, you know, you dip your wedges in, you just want a very thin coating of batter on the outside because if it's too thick, you know, the batter is going to be quite tough. So just a wee light coating on the outside. So just dip your wedges in and then pick them up and let the excess drain off. Pop those onto a non-stick baking tray or some greaseproof paper. Just do this for all of your wedges. I actually had to use two baking trays <laughs> because my wedges, you know, had too many. So just keep going and we're going to freeze these. So pop them into the freezer until they're frozen. By freezing them, you know, you're going to make sure that your batter actually holds on to your potato because if you try and fry them right away, the batter will just come straight off. So you will need to freeze them. It'll only take you a few hours because, you know, they're quite thin. 
I just popped mine on top of two pizza boxes in the freezer and it kept them nice and flat. Once they're frozen, all you have to do is separate them and then just freeze, uh, fry them right away. So pop them into your basket. Don't overcrowd your basket or if you're using a pan, you know, don't overcrowd your pan. I actually done mine in two batches. So you want to fry these from between five to six, maybe even seven minutes, depending on how thick your wedges are. You'll know they're ready when they start to float and they'll be a lovely golden brown colour. And because of the turmeric that's in there, they will be slightly orangey. And the smell of this oil with all those herbs and spices was so good. Like I said, I've never actually had the KFC wedges, but if they taste anything like this, you know, they'll be amazing because these were fantastic. And I was happy with these and they are so crunchy and you will hear when they go into the plate, you know, just how crunchy. They're beautifully crisp on the outside and very, very fluffy in the middle with just a wonderful savoury flavour. I was absolutely delighted with these. I've never actually done wedges this way, you know, putting the batter on, but it does make a massive difference. Listen to this. Did you hear that crunch? They were so crunchy, but like I said, very soft in the middle. And I just popped on a wee garlic mayo dip just for dunking on the side. But I had, I had so many of these. This is what I had for my tea, but I also made fish. So we had sort of fish and chips as well, but I didn't have the fish. And just look at that in the middle. They are so fluffy. And the flavour, like I said, yeah, highly recommend you give those ones a go. Just before I leave you, I wanted to say, as usual, a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. So thank you all for your ongoing support, guys. As you know, it does mean ever so much. So thank you once again. And thank you all for watching, leaving your lovely comments. And if you haven't done yet, please give the video a like just before you leave. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing subscribing just before you go. I'm going to leave you now and I'll be back in a couple of days with my wee shopping haul. We haven't decided where we're going yet, most likely Lidl, and then I'll be back on Sunday for Meals of the Week. And if you're not following me over on Instagram yet, I'm What's For Tea 3 over there and it would be lovely to see you. So you take care of yourselves and I'll see you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.